In this video, you're gonna learn three high-level music production tips that are gonna help you make more music, make better music, and help you be more efficient and productive in the studio. Let's do it. What is up? This is Jake with Musician on a Mission. Let's talk about a few overarching concepts and principles that you can start using in your studio today. So tip number one is to be a finisher. So when I started recording and programming my own sounds with a computer, I was just kind of testing the waters with song ideas. Maybe I'd record a short guitar riff and then put some virtual drums to it and then I would call it a day, right? I was done with my song idea. I would just make a mental note to come back to it and finish it on some undefined date in the future. So what do you think happened? I never came back to those ideas. <laughs> I had essentially trained myself to be really good at recording song ideas instead of full songs. And if your goal is to self-produce finished songs that you can share with the world, then you really need to train yourself to be a finisher. And that means gone are the days of producing song ideas. When you set out to record a new idea, finish the song from beginning to end every single time. And even if it's just a demo where you're just getting the song out of your head and into the DAW with a few scratch tracks, focus on writing full, complete songs from beginning to end. The more you commit and develop small ideas into full-blown songs, the more you're actually gonna train your brain to get better at writing full-blown songs. And this can really be applied to every part of the life cycle of a song, from songwriting, to recording, to editing, to mixing, to mastering, to releasing your music. If you wanna self-produce or produce for other artists, you need to be training your brain to see these steps through from beginning to end. And then over time, you'll just get better and better with the entire production process, and you'll just be able to spit out full-blown productions like crazy, where you're releasing a song per month or a song per week, and really just honing your craft and keeping your audience engaged and excited. Tip number two is to compartmentalize the process. So you can pretty much break down the life cycle of a song into six main chunks. Songwriting, recording, editing, mixing, mastering, and release. You complete this process and then you do it over and over and over again. So when I first started out, I would try to do a lot of these things together at the same time. So I would try to record the actual lead vocal parts before I had even written the whole song or, or laid anything else down. And I would do a lot of mixing as I was recording, things like that. And it would just take me forever to actually finish a song and it was because I was lacking focus. Over time, I learned that by compartmentalizing these different areas or different steps of the process and giving each one the amount of focus it deserved, it allowed me to write and produce better songs faster. So, for example, if you're in the songwriting phase, maybe just restrict yourself to using one or two instruments to map out your demo, like some virtual drums, uh, an instrument to lay down the chord progression, and a lead vocal scratch track you can use to just lay down the melody. So we're not really going to dive deep into the demo process in this video, but if you want to learn more about songwriting in your DAW, make sure to check out last week's video on songwriting from scratch. Now, something I do want to address here is that I'm not saying you can't do a small edit here or there or throw a few plugins on your tracks while you're recording. Just keep in mind that you'll eventually get to really drill down on the editing process. You'll get to focus on the mixing process down the line, but while you're in the recording phase, your primary objective is to record the best possible takes. So same concept applies to all the other phases of this process. Songwriting is songwriting, recording is recording, editing is editing, so on and so forth. So this is a good segue into tip number three, which is to treat each step equally. So basically, I just wanna drive this point home here that 
Focus is really the key to being successful and optimizing your time in the studio so you can get the best possible results with your music. So what I like to do is give each step of the production process the care and attention that it deserves. Basically, the idea here is that the amount of focus you put into one step of the production process will have a direct effect on the subsequent step. So for example, when I'm songwriting, I really narrow in on that process and try to write music and lyrics that communicate my message. And I know that by putting the care and attention into this process and by writing a really great song and creating a scratch demo with minimal instrumentation, chances are going to be way higher that the song is actually worthy of the next step of the process, in this case recording, and ultimately it's gonna translate well to my audience in the end. So the same goes for the recording process. If I really give the recording process the care and attention that it deserves, my song is gonna be like, 80% of the way to the finish line and the mixing process is just going to be so much easier. So that means paying attention to mic placement, making sure you're selecting sounds that don't compete with one another in the arrangement, making sure you're capturing the best possible performances. So this concept can really kind of be summed up by one of my favorite production quotes out there. And I don't even know where I heard this, probably a plug-in manufacturer. And that quote is this, record like there's no mixing, and mix like there's no mastering. This is such a simple concept, but in my opinion, this is just such a really important concept to grasp if you want professional quality productions that you can be proud of. So these were just a few production tips to kind of wrap your brain around, but there are still a lot of other things you need to get right if you truly want your music to sound professional. So that's why my friend Rob put together a free workshop where he shares the seven steps to making radio ready music at home. And what you're gonna see inside is that Rob shares a completely new approach to home recording and mixing that's going to help you produce at a professional standard much faster. Over 36,000 people have already been through this workshop and seen results in a matter of days. So if you want to learn the exact seven steps that are going to take your mixes to that pro level in under a year and avoid wasting time, money, and effort on the wrong things, then go and watch that free workshop now. You can either click the link you see on the screen or head to the link in the description. It's completely free. Make sure to check it out. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. This is Jake with Musician on a Mission signing off. And remember, create regardless. Regardless.